Each of these sculptures by Bernard Vinet is four and a half meters high and weighs five tons. The French artist relies on his intuition when it comes to arranging his sculptures. An installation like this is always a real challenge. It's the first time I've done it like this. Until now, we've always put up just three or four arcs. This time, 12 of these steel giants are being erected in Marseille, southern France. The project will be named Desordre or Disorder. It's not supposed to be symbolic of anything. I make sculptures that show what I can do. I try not to repeat myself. That's how I expand on a theme. First of all, he perfects a scaled-down model. The full-sized sculptures are then constructed in Hungary. The arcs and angles are not measured precisely, but rather left to chance. An element of my work involves arcs, angles and straight infinite lines. It also has a theoretical side. I'm experimenting with this piece. I ask what more can be achieved. What can I do that's different from the sculptures we know today? In 1989, Vinay bought this old mill and a large plot of land in the south of France. He spends part of the year here in Le Mouy and the rest in New York. It was there that he turned to maths, numbers and equations in the 1960s. Inspired by minimalism, he found the basis for his art. The task of a true artist is to put into question what has been thought, said and painted in the past. Before these pictures, art was either figurative or abstract. This picture is neither. My idea was to examine an interesting area that hadn't yet been explored. Lines became a major component of Vinay's art. He soon abandoned canvas to make reliefs from wood and steel. And in the 1980s, he began making sculptures of curves, angles and straight lines. In 1977, he was invited to the Documenta in Kassel and to the Vienna Biennale a year later. His latest work stands in a 1700 square meter factory space. The lines, angles and arcs are arranged chaotically. His still structures can be seen around the world, in cities like New York, Hong Kong and Berlin. They are also displayed in international museums and sit proudly in private collections. He's now been announced as the winner of the prestigious Julio Gonzalez Prize. The artists that won the prize before me were Rauschenberg, Sai Twombly, Jasper Johns, Soulange, Chilida, Anish Kapoor. All great artists and international stars. I'm very flattered. In 2012, Vinay transformed an exclusive Bugatti sports car into a piece of art. Formulas calculating the performance speed of an engine were painted on the outside and embroidered in the interior. The car is expected to fetch between 6 and 7 million euros. C'est bien d'avoir du succès it's great to experience success as a living artist. But am I writing history? Will I be just as honored in 200 years? That's what I'm working towards. Success is relative. His installations will be on display outside the Palais du Pharaon in Marseille until September 27. Bernard Vinet already has two other big exhibitions lined up this year, one in Los Angeles and one in South Korea. It'll soon be time for him to rearrange his towering steel giants.